Hey, let's do a quick little lesson here, a quick improv um, technique to practice so you can learn how to play over a 12 bar and sound melodic. <clears throat> now naturally, if I'm in a 12 bar in A, a minor 12 bar, playing an A minor 7, it's going to go to a 4 chord, the traditional, so it'd be a D minor 7 or D minor, and then up to an E minor 7 or E minor. And A minor. So with these uh, <clears throat> three chords that you're going to be soloing over, naturally they're all in the key of A minor. So you could just play your A minor pentatonic over the entire thing, and that'll work. But if you want to get a little bit more tasty with your note choices, you should be able to follow the chords and what's changing. So the first step I would say to do <clears throat> is to recognize this little secret that you might not already know is that every key, since there's three minor chords, you also have three minor pentatonic shapes that you can use over each of those. <clears throat> so, if you know your minor pentatonic, and you know that the minor pentatonic has five modes, so that was mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four, five and then back to if you can reach up that high well most people don't have the big guitar but <clears throat> so with all five of those shapes we can kind of uh, mix this up a little bit this concept so I don't want to lose you there so let's uh, if you know your five modes of the pentatonic um, or if you don't know them, you should probably stop the video and go learn them. I have another video that I'll post in the link, and I'll also post uh, a 12-bar blues link under here that you can follow in A uh, minor. <clears throat> so let's get back to the concept of this. For the one chord over A minor, you're going to play A minor pentatonic. Over D minor, you're going to go up to the note D on the 10th fret and play D minor pentatonic. And over the 5 chord, E, you're going to play E minor pentatonic, right there on the 12th fret, E. So for the 1 chord, over the 4 chord, or you're going to play that. So you'll practice that at first so you can get the tonalities in your ear that when you're playing this chord you're playing A minor, when you're playing this chord you're playing D minor, now you're playing E minor. So obviously the first thing you probably notice is I'm jumping all over the neck. <clears throat> That's not ideal for a, a proficient uh, lead player, I wouldn't think. It's a lot of extra movement. Most of us are trying to minimize the effort and movement that we're trying to solo with, so you don't want to be all over the neck, in other words. So, by knowing your five pentatonic modes, if I want to stay in this position, what I need to know is when I go to the D, that's position one, or mode one, excuse me, but I want to go down into this position. So what's in this position in the key of D minor, or starting on the pentatonic shape, the first shape in D. Well, I'd have to go back. If this is the first shape, then this is the fifth shape. This is the fourth shape. And look where I'm at. I'm right there on A. So when it goes to the four chord, instead of moving all the way up here, I'm just going to play the mode that keeps me in this position, which in this case would be the fourth mode. Now when it goes to the fifth mode, the fifth chord here, then uh, E minor, what keeps me in this position in E minor? So I'd have to backtrack that. Shape one, shape five, shape four, shape three. So now I'm in shape three to be in this position. 
So my one chord, my four chord, my five chord, back to my one. So that way you can stay in one position and solo over this 12 bar and target the notes effectively to where you can hear the chord progression changing without you know, knowing any special type of study or method, you're really just transposing wherever the chords go. You're directly following the chords from the same position, and then you're dissecting that and working your way back into the position. So hopefully that'll help somebody out. It might have just confused all of you. I'm not real sure, but uh, I figured I'd give it a shot and see if uh, that makes sense to any of you. So enjoy and till next time.